Thank you, Chairman. Um, I, I'm, I'm Ken Sturcher from the University of Tokyo. Um, today, I would like to talk about the EV installation design for Okinawa Green Island Project. So, um, actually, I have I prepared two main topics. One is the Okinawa Project, which is uh, mainly um, demonstrating uh, Okinawa Main Island here now. And uh, if I had the time, I would like to introduce our new approaches to for the power grid. So we call uh, power grid digitalization. So it's an uh, um, image is, uh, like a, um, analog to digital from the telecom. Uh, it's the same analogy to the telecommunication. So now let's begin with the uh, Okinawa project. But before Okinawa project, I would like to talk about the uh, uh, background of the project. So um, this is the um, uh, potential uh, resources of the, uh, each oil and oil sand and natural gas and uh, and aluminium and coal. These are the sites of the uh, confirmed resources. And uh, on the other hand, uh, the worldwide annual consumption of primary energy is this size. And we are thinking about the renewal, if we think about the renewal energy, so solar energy, the, uh, in the coming <coughs> some decades, so uh, solar energy is uh, one of the promising energy to, to be. But uh, uh, there is uh, still remain the problems. So this is the uh, example of one day energy trend in Tokyo area. So even in the uh, uh, fine day, the weather forecasting says it's fine, uh, a sunny day, but the uh, result is like this. So power storage system can uh, manage uncertainty of the, the power produce and the power demand uh, fluctuation. So, and I uh, wonder, um, in this in this content, uh, adding to this content, uh, I'd like to mention about the uh, improvement of battery technologies. So for these um, century, um, the later of the 19th century, so um, uh, lead acid battery has been invented. But um, the advancement of the battery is rather slow. And, and just after 1990, so there are many advancements. Uh, based on that background, so we we are thinking of how to install those batteries into uh, social systems. At first, we think about the electrical vehicle, and uh, the and then so stationary use. So this is the uh, example of the uh, EV installation design for Okinawa. Okinawa has a good virtue of the uh, it, it is island. So the EV limit is the kind of uh, Kind of limit is the drive range, so um, the drive range is limited within a uh, hundred miles. So uh, the Okinawa Main Island has a uh, uh, physical wall. Unfortunately, uh, they started uh, the electrical service uh, February in 2011. That is one month before uh, Japanese big uh, earthquake. So um, so uh, just after they are starting service, so uh, there are a big disaster. So uh, that is the, uh, uh, mm, that is uh, another issue. But uh, so um, Tokyo people, um, how do I say? Um, so it was very good stuff. But uh, just after the disaster, especially nuclear disaster, so Tokyo people tend to not to think about the electricity. In, uh, resort area, that is uh, another problem. That, uh, so they study. And the uh, whole stages of the uh, Okinawa Green Island project is uh, mainly consists of phase three. Uh, phase one is electrical vehicle, and phase two, so installing battery in uh, building, houses, or hotels. And then, so they connect uh, with the uh, uh, power grid, uh, electrical vehicle, and smart buildings, and uh, Okinawa want to uh, build the exchange system. These are the three phases. 
This topic is about the phase one. And uh, the position of rent-a-car in Okinawa is like, here, like this. So most visitors use this rent-a-car as, as their mobility. Uh, about 40% of the uh, visitors uh, use this rent-a-car. It is a very big uh, impact to the tourists to impress the green image. And um, so um, to promote this project, so um, the first the first step to do was the uh, preparing the charging station network. So um, university our team our team um, supported to uh, make a charging station network planning. And it is said that a uh, drive range of the electric vehicle, for example, it has a uh, hundred miles. But it depends on the uh, traffic situations. So, um, uh, in areas or gas stations. So, um, this is the result of our simulation. And uh, we uh, recommended 27 units at 24 sites. So, um, we uh, simulated uh, uh, each driver's uh, simulation, each driver's activity. So that is why we uh, we know how much devices is needed for some some several times. And uh, on your right side is the existing uh, adaptive arrangement of the quick charger in 2011 February 20th. So it calculates its drive range because based on 20 minutes drive. Um, how do I say? So um, it's not based on the uh, route, but o but based on the uh, result of the 20 minutes drive. So it fluctuates very much. So um, that that is very confusing. So we uh, started to, to provide uh, the real uh, navigator system. So in addition to that, uh, there are some charging congestions in some places. So we are taking those into account, and uh, we made some navigator systems. It is available, also available on the uh, website. So this is the uh, uh, example of the uh, result. So um, it is called navi for evs If you set the uh, origination and destination, and uh, uh, the other, uh, other places to visit, so uh, the computer will answer uh, where to charge and where to drive. These are the results of the uh, uh, navigator system. So it will be uh, a demonstration test will be held uh, in some uh, some times in, in Okinawa. So these are the, uh, the phase one of the Okinawa uh, Green New Deal Island project. And so uh, we are moving to the uh, stationary use battery, uh, stationary battery use, I mean the uh, microgrid um, planning method. So um, this is the uh, image of the uh, simulation energy storage microgrid design. So. Um, this is uh, one of the results of the uh, Ishigaki Island case. So we made a uh, time series simulation with uh, demand and uh, renewable energy producing forecasting. So um, with those time series uh, simulation, we can find uh, which season is the critical for the microgrid. So this is an example of uh, Ishigaki Island. Um, about this this season of the year, I mean the winter season, there are some uh, weeks which it is rainy and with, uh, there is no wind. So if we prepare those uh, periods, so we have a lot of uh, renewable energy and uh, a lot of batteries. So we have to uh, think about those periods if we uh, totally test, totally uh, independent from the uh, power grid. So this kind of uh, simulation can be done by
apply uh, uh, data and uh, apply your uh, effect. And also, uh, we are trying to uh, obtain the uh, forecasting method of uh, uh, renewable energies and uh, demand, uh, consumer demand. And uh, the uh, LRA can be absorbed by uh, the battery, if you have a battery. So that kind of um, operation is, uh, I think, uh, next, next steps, the most important element in the microgrid or power grid system. So these are uh, these are uh, the um, this study uh, also um, designed for the hotel use. So in this year, so I I know that uh, uh, some hotels uh, will uh, demonstrate uh, their microgrid systems with uh, batteries. So this is uh, one example of uh, hot, um, those hotels. So this is the Kanucha Bay Hotel. So um, Kanucha Bay has uh, a big solar plant, but uh, unfortunately they don't have a uh, battery. But uh, we can simulate how, how it works if they have batteries. And, uh, I have uh, five more minutes. So um, this is uh, the Okinawa project. And uh, the rest of the time I will talk about the uh, power grid digitalization. This is, I think, uh, these are uh, uh, electrical vehicle and uh, uh, smart houses with batteries are very important steps, but the uh, uh, most important part is uh, networking. So uh, the one of the uh, key issues is, I think, is the power grid digitalization. So I will skip, um, please allow me to, to skip some chart. These are the situation of the uh, energy generation, so centralized to decentralized. So those situations, uh, uh, to, to answer those uh, issues, so University of Tokyo has established one uh, project, which name is Presidential and Dolce Electric, Electric Power Network Innovation by Digital Grid. So the concept is like this. So um, conventional power grid is monogrid, one hertz and one uh, hertz, I mean the uh, frequency. It is centralized system and a very, very, a very good efficiency. But the uh, problem is uh, not good. So uh, the, at, at each moment, generation and demand is uh, balanced, should be balanced. If you lose the balance, uh, the cascading failure will be hard, will be called. And uh, uh, the solution is like this. Um, compared to the conventional grid, each each one of grid each one of grid will be weaker than the conventional grid. But uh, uh, if we uh, if if one grid has failure, even though uh, the rest of the grid are still remaining the same, this is the concept. And uh, we think we believe that this is uh, this. Uh, uh, this is very, uh, mm, has a good, uh, this has good character uh, with uh, renewable resources. And I will skip some charts, but uh, the, uh, the same thing is like this. Ah, 10 minutes, that's it. Okay. Monogrid to grid of grid. So large synchronous grid is like this. All the generator and motors are synchronized to the grid frequency. So this is the conventional grid. And the uh, digitalized grid would be this, smaller standalone cell grid. So uh, the synchronicity is within the grid. We call this small grid uh, cell. So uh, the uh, So in other words, so um, this is a uh, normal AC grid, and the AC-DC conversion is uh, already installed in uh, conventional grid, uh, like uh, uh, east side Japan and west side Japan, there is one uh, DC grid, 
between those health. Those health uh, if side, Japan has a 50 health uh, frequency <coughs> and uh, west side 60 health frequency, between those frequency creep, so there is a DC line. And in addition to that, Hokkaido and uh, Tohoku, there is a DC line. So this is a, a proven technology. But if we add one DC line to the uh, uh, to new new DC port to the DC DC line, so it is the kind of the uh, uh, router of the electricity. And uh, we call that a uh, digital grid router, and it's like this: uh, non power. So it can be uh, designed to be any kind of uh, electricity to the uh, converter. So we call it digital processing. Silicon carbide is the most promising technology of this kind of uh, technology. And we can make uh, any, any type of the electricity, uh, voltage and frequency. So this is the concept of the uh, digitalized power grid. I think, I, I believe that uh, uh, Yesterday's uh, uh, Dr. Prof, uh, Dr. Toko's uh, presentation uh, uh, open energy system is like, can be uh, like this. And if we, um, if we make uh, this target with the technology, so um, the uh, electricity power uh, market with the uh, paying system is via the mobile, mobile uh, paying system. So it is controlled from uh, Japan. So the computer is located in Japan now. Huh? Will be moved to the Kenya. But uh, if they pay something, they pay for charging. So the computer notice about it, and uh, they let the switch on to charging. So that is that is how they get the big uh, investment, big investment in the uh, solar field. That is uh, uh, normal technology, but we made this uh, digitalized technology. So this is the concept. This is the image of the, uh, uh, the device. So this is the uh, one example of the, uh, the on-site kiosk. So inside this kiosk, uh, this kiosk, there are many products, and uh, we we we. We went to the uh, African Fair in uh, Yokohama City, and uh, fortunately, Tanzania, President of Tanzania, came to our group. So, um, these are the, our new uh, approaches to the new grid. So, I talk about the Okinawa project, so EV installation, and then after stationary use, and uh, we are trying to uh, uh, extend uh, the project to the uh, electricity network. So, um, but the electricity network is very difficult, very tough to start. So we uh, started a project uh, in, uh, from the Kenya side. Um, thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Tanaka. Any, any question from the, from the floor? We have a couple minutes. Well, there is one first thing I would, I would like to make a comment upon. I, this is about this EV project in Okinawa. So your first proposal to the Okinawa Prefecture was in the spring 2009, and the implementation was in spring 2011. So it took two years between your proposal and the implementation on the ground, which is incredibly fast. <laughs> so, so how did you do that? <laughs> The reason why it is so fast was uh, n not based on our issues, but on the uh, Okinawa people's uh, uh, trial. So they are very quick to decide everything. So um, uh, the plan, we propose this plan to the uh, private company's member of Okinawa. <coughs> that is the main, main reason why the uh, project is so fast. So they decided quickly and they launched the company very quickly and they get some subsidy from government 
and uh, a territory to infrastructure of the main island. I was surprised to, to see that first project managing too. So it is not uh, all to our, our, uh, our skills, but uh, <coughs> totally the best of the Okinawa people. Okay, well, I, I'm, I think I'm not going to forget this, uh, this example. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, any, other, any other questions? Uh, yes, please. Uh, my, not, my, my, mine is not a question, but my comment. Uh, so this is uh, the second presentation about Kenya. So this is what I expect about innovation. So maybe IT utilization uh, for, say, uh, ensuring the sustainability of the type using. So this is a very, very nice uh, in this in this symposium. Yeah. Another, it's uh, interesting. I was actually going to ask uh, Mr. Hayashi if uh, deregulation or the opposite monopolies uh, were a situation that you were encountering in your experience, and you could make some comments on the virtue or defects of uh, its systems or weaknesses, not defects. Uh, so it's a very interesting word, uh, uh, Professor Borotomi said, uh, democratization of energy sector. It was monopolized by uh, power companies. But because of this uh, distributed technology, uh, so it becomes very important. Uh, so it, it was possible to democratize uh, the energy sector. And uh, in case of Africa, as I uh, discussed yesterday, uh, human capacity is very really important. But uh, also I found out one good technology uh, presented by uh, Professor Tanaka this morning by uh, utilizing IT technology to compensate the lack of management and planning capacity of those African people. So it is say they, they will get good combination of that kind of work of that kind of and uh, then how regulation works, or how regulation should not work, should be discussed, I suppose. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank, you. Thank you very much. So that's uh, it's, it's pointing to another consideration, which is the uh, uh, cooperation between governments, and I'm asking the question to Professor Tanaka, <laughs> between uh, uh, governments, industry, uh, academics, so, uh, I'm still under shock that you could get something done in three years in Okinawa, so I have to digest this idea. But you obviously have been successful in, in that, and mentioning deregulation, mentioning standardization, and then I will move to, to funding. Uh, how, how would you describe the, uh, the importance of uh, government, industry, and academic collaboration, not only in, in highly developed countries like, like, uh, like Japan, but not also in emerging countries? There's something that you share with us. Thanks for the question. Um, I think uh, energy business is much based on asset base. So uh, it means uh, we need investment beforehand. So uh, it has, in, in that point, so government can play the very important role. So in the Okinawa project, we started uh, with only the private sector members, but finally, uh, local Okinawa local government subsidized that project. And that helps a lot. So uh, that kind of uh, initial um, investment or initial uh, budget is very important to the energy business. So, um, but uh, uh, government itself cannot find uh, the real need. So sometimes uh, uh, company, technology company has great power to push the budget uh, planning. So that, that tends to be uh, not for the users, but for the uh, suppliers logic. So um, the uh, triangle of the users and the government and uh, uh, the public sectors, uh, users and the uh, public sectors and the technology is a very, very important role. So uh, at first we can rely on the government budget, but we have to find a way to independent from the government subsidy. That is important, I think. Thank you. So now we don't have a triangle, we have a square. <coughs> We have user, academic, government, and industry. Yes, yes. 
Yes, we live or soon end up with uh, the circle, I think. Um, you, you, you mentioned this uh, uh, funding, so, uh, uh, and you also mentioned that it's, uh, it's uh, asset-heavy uh, investment. So it, it's true for, for centralized energy uh, system, but is, is it also true for uh, distributed uh, small-scale energy system and, and we had just now the introduction by uh, uh, Mr. Yamanuchi of actually designing a new, a, a new business model for a company, which is trying to address the, the need, the funding need of a small scale operation and try to mutualize these needs. So uh, how do you see that working in, in Japan and in other countries, and how would you see that working in emerging economies? Okay. Well, I think uh, what we are doing is uh, uh, um, building up from a small scale. So we, uh, it is working in, in Japan, but probably uh, to such a uh, small scale, it, it can work in the emerging economies too. Uh, each, each one uh, product may cost perhaps about uh, one million, two million yen project size. So that is not a too much of a uh, large, large money. Uh, if you include uh, subsidies or uh, 20 or 15 year, uh, so fee in tariff system, then financing uh, can be done. Uh, still, you have to make it a system, but we, we, uh, we have doing it uh, several times, so it can work in a different culture or a different locality in the town. So hopefully uh, it works in the different economies too. Uh, I think there is not any uh, fundamental differences yeah. in our country. I would think so. Uh, I know we have a, a, a participant from a funding financing company, which is Oryx, uh, which is a leasing company. I don't know if that person whom, whom I don't know uh, uh, would like to comment on the, uh, uh, the opportunity for, 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 the, for the industry of uh, uh, leasing uh, those energy uh, uh, production system. But I, I leave it to that person to decide if uh, he or she wants to stand up. Uh, but I think the uh, upfront funding of, uh, of, those, uh, of those investments is something that needs to be taken into account. And uh, this was also uh, mentioned by uh, uh, Professor, I think that was Morotomi in, uh, in your presentation in, in Germany, uh, where they had they got together and, uh, and managed to get the fund to make things happen here. Yeah. Um, then the last point I'd like to raise very briefly, although it's a, it's a broad one, is the uh, uh, is more on the societal uh, side, which is the management of change. So, uh, of course, in uh, in uh, in our economies, the uh, the adoption uh, adoption of those new uh, new energy and uh, new paradigm uh, will will be based very much on nothing should change. We should still have electricity when we need, and provided that the case the, the technology will be adopted. But uh, yesterday we had. Uh, a hint at how to supply energy in small villages uh, could make dramatic changes. Even three years of life would make uh, would make a revolution in, in, in life. Uh, is it is it something that uh, uh, we are are we taking this enough into account in in, in our projects? Uh, uh, electric vehicle. What, what happens when uh, when a tourist uh, comes to Okinawa and rents an EV? Uh, how nervous is this tourist to, to reach his, uh, his or her hotel? <laughs> Just to take a kind of simple example. Okay, um, so um, electric vehicle is not a um, common vehicle to public people. So uh, the, uh, the drivers of the electric car is the, uh, mostly, uh, it is the first time to drive the electric vehicle. And uh, the navigation system of the electric vehicle is very um, confusing. So if we uh, drive along the, uh, um, what is this, 
thick um, uh, um, slope. So um, it's easy to be changed. Uh, uh, the, uh, the you should go to the charging point immediately. But uh, I found that uh, they found that it's it's uh, nonsense. So uh, they can reach the, oh, the destination without charging. So that kind of uh, the navigation or other systems are not friendly to uh, okay. the driver. Uh, basically, they enjoy it very much. And especially, uh, it is very good car. I have to add to that. But you mentioned an important point. It's not friendly. The, the navigator is not friendly. Uh, are there any, any questions? We still have uh, five minutes. Uh, questions, three minutes. Uh, if you would like to ask our, our panelists. 